Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got a very cool front living loft camper for you. This is the 2023 Sabre 37 FLL. So again, front living loft. It also has an outdoor kitchen. There is a lot to like about this RV. Uh, the specifications, length, height, awning size, tank sizes, all that will be down in the description of this video. And if you guys like RV videos, like my style, like what I'm doing, hit that like and subscribe button. Help me hit my goal of 30,000 subscribers here in 2023. I would for sure be forever grateful. Uh, but let's go ahead and get right into it. Again, it's the 2023 Sabre 37 FLL. If you guys want to pause the screen, there's some exterior features, uh, but I'll go over most of that. But right when you walk in, you got your kitchen, which has a really cool kind of little U-shaped setup, plenty of storage. You got the the brown tones, which I like. A lot of the industry is going with that light and bright. So this is kind of like a mix. You get the light brown, brown tones. Jeez, oh, Pete's having a hard time talking. So beautiful out today. Dinette, refrigerator. But since it is a front living, I figured I'll start up here and kind of work my way to the back. Big old TV with the fireplace puts out 5,100 BTUs of heat. So it'll heat up the entirety of this front living and even most of the kitchen for you. Classic front living setup. Big windows, mirrored reflective windows, which is new for 2023. That's pretty cool. I'll show you more of that on the exterior. But both of these do open up, so you get a ton of more sleeping. So they'll meet in the middle, make a massive bed. You know, sleep four adults in there, absolutely no problem. Uh, but I like it. You get plenty of countertop space. You get a massive TV. You have outlets on both left and right, as well as USB ports on both left and right. So you don't have to worry about any of your devices. Little corner storage is going to be the same both left and right. And then down here, the storage gets, you know, just a little bit bigger uh, due to that countertop space. And I love the extra countertop space. Who doesn't need that? Also, just above the fireplace, you're also going to see two pull-out drawers, you know, just like that. Another thing that I like about Sabre is they don't have any funky colors going on with the LED lights, you know, with the accent lighting. So you get a nice ambient glow at night. If you were to shut off you know, all the lights in here. I'd imagine going out to get a midnight snack would be pretty cool with this lining. And you can see it goes all the way down. So I really enjoy that. So again, sofa on both sides, dual opposing slides, tons of floor space, gives you that extra sleeping ability. Both slides are going to be identical. So I will show you this one. Windows all open up for a nice cross breeze. Furniture is looking pretty nice. It's kind of like that little pleather type stuff. You get the zebra shades and I'll go pretty slow. But that's kind of in half mode. And then you got full Dracula mode to block out all the sun right there. So it's kind of day and nightshade mixed in to save a little bit of money. Uh, this is a kind of an entry to mid-level camper. Uh, but they have some higher end finishes, you know, on uh, some of their construction quality, which is nice. You also have yourself your uh, power recliners right here. So you can control, well, power in a way. So right here, there's a pull part right there so that way it kicks the feet up but then you have uh, heat lighting and massage right there and they are very comfortable I've taken many naps in recliners just like that back in my day I've been selling RVs for 10 years so to say I haven't snoozed in a couple would definitely be a lie outside of camping two USBs two outlets more countertop space right here you're also going to see a couple ACs here in this unit and what I like is they're the Furion so they're a little bit more high efficiency they also have the dump valve. So if you're sitting up here watching a movie and you want the air to disproportionately push down into this area, you absolutely can. Or you can close it up and it'll evenly distribute it uh, through the track system. You're also going to see you have speakers here, both left and right. And this will go through the camper as well. So you get some, you know, really nice you know, audio throughout the unit. Emergency exit. So pull, push and pop. Give you one more little view here of the front living. And then I'm going to head on over to the kitchen. But before we get there, this is going to be your control center. So you just activate that. Everything's going to be touchscreen. You know, all your lighting controls, your awning, leveling, and then your slides. You can also control everything from your phone with the Lippert One Control app. So that's pretty nice as well. You can also check your tank levels. You know, your battery, fresh tank, black tank, gray one, gray two water pump, and then your lights. These switches are going to be for the front upper lights and the kitchen lights. So now back to the kitchen, uh, right here directly in front of the door, you're going to see this is kind of your like your storage 
and maybe a place where you can set up like a little margarita machine or a Keurig or something like that, you know, kind of make this kind of like a little bar setup, I think is what I would do. You also get the solid surface countertops. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. Two USBs, two outlets, plenty of pull-out drawers. Two are going to, or one's going to be like this. And then the bottom two are going to be just a hair larger like that. Little overhead storage right next to uh, the Furion thermostat for your heat and your AC. And then you got a little bit more bigger storage over here. Uh, you know, maybe like a little pantry situation or something like that for your groceries. Got yourself a fan. Get the air flowing real nice. Again, the LED lights above the slide. I love the fact they put in the, um, the windows right there to let in a little bit more natural light. You can kind of see how it's got that mirror reflective finish to it, but on the outside, it'll be really prominent for you. Really nice, high, tall slides. I'm six feet tall for reference. Probably put that somewhere like around six, three-ish or so. So window that does not open up, just good for a good view. And this one does open up. It also doubles an emergency exit. So pull, push, and pop, you're good to go. A dinette, sit down, have some breakfast, play some cards, and you even get a little bit of storage here up underneath. You're going to notice that there is no carpet here in the slide, which I know a lot of you are going to be celebrating. Another little pantry right here, and it does have the removable shelves. And then you got the little scan me. I'm not sure what that's for, but I'm assuming probably like your online uh, owner's manual. The Everchill refrigerator is going to be a smart refrigerator here as well. It is going to be the 12 volt, so it'll run on the, you know, on your solar, on your battery, you know, whatever. You're good to go. But you can see it's absolutely massive, just like the one inside your home, except it has a little bit more versatility in the power for it. And then down here, you're going to have two. Oh, I got some safety latches on. Yeah. It's all right. They hired me because I'm friendly. So right there little freezer drawer and then another freezer drawer and this middle partition is able to be removed or uh, you know switched on over wherever you'd like right across from the dinette um, is one of the cooler kitchens that I've seen one it looks super nice you have that little kind of overhay overlay with the LED lights underneath and an outlet but it just is really functional you know it's a really well thought out kitchen space it doesn't take up a lot of room but you can also entertain or maybe play some games just give you a little look here at the countertops you also got those big open windows hopefully for a nice view access to storage underneath here and you can also uh, reach it back through here as well so underneath here is going to be access to your plumbing and then you got yourself like a little pull out you know little shelf uh, which is buckled in not going to get into showing that your farm style stainless steel uh, bowl with the high-rise faucet hitting those dishes from all angles it's running away from me a little bit three more pull-out drawers down here new backsplash for the 2023 new decor in general for the 2023 but I think the black splash looks pretty sharp outlet USB I'm not sure how you pronounce that is that Gerard but you get an oven big enough to cook up you know like a pizza or some cookies something like that and then your three stovetop burners, so you can get whipping up all the fixings. You also have your contour microwave. And then storage pretty much all up and around the entirety of this. And then right here, that's going to be your one control hotspot. So you kind of get the idea of what the storage is looking like. This will go all the way across. So it's all big open shelves. And I did see a video the other day where somebody put like a little mesh net in front of it back there. So I thought that was kind of cool just to kind of partition it all off. As we look up to, you have another place just to kind of help the airflow with that little fan that kicks on and off. Another control for the AC and the heat. This is going to be your fan control. It's just above me that I just showed you. And you can open up the vent as well. There are the hallway lights. And you can see this hallway is absolutely massive. You got a loft up here above, which I'll show you in a second. Another window with the zebra shades. And then you got a bathroom right here. So you got the porcelain throne with the foot flush. 
enough room where you can sit down and kind of do your thing. Good size shower with the tri-glide glass series that lets a, uh, a round belly like me get in there absolutely no problem. So for reference on the size of the shower, you know, I'm six foot, 285 pounds on a good day. And you can see I even got room here above my head. So if you're a little taller, even like 6'5", you'd be all right. A little medicine cabinet behind here. Show off the old bowling gun, baby. Got a bowling tournament tomorrow, or by the time you see it tonight. So hopefully on my next video, I absolutely crushed it. Brought home the chip, the golden pin. Outlets, sink, access to storage or access to your plumbing and some storage. And then here above the bathroom, this is gonna be the first of two sides of loft. So you have this loft right here, and then you have another loft over to the right that goes above the bed. The one here on the left is either for, just pretty much for children or for storage. It is a little bit tight. I mean, it looks like it's probably about two feet tall. So it's nothing that I would personally enjoy getting into. Uh, but this size is, you know, probably about three feet. I mean, I'm on my knees right now on the stairs and, um, you know, my head's, uh, you know, I'm doing all right. So you got the little cubbies, you got plenty of windows for natural views. You got the cubbies for all the kiddo stuff. And then you also have USBs and outlets there as well. There is the other AC that's right up there that does have the dump valve if you would like to use that. And then for people that are asking, it has direct ventilation down into the bedroom. So I get that question uh, quite often. Massive storage right here. And then you got a drop frame down for the bedroom. So this is going to be lower. That's what allows that loft height. You have your king bed and on both sides, I didn't turn them on, but you got little reading night lights, which I like with storage up above. USB outlet, USB outlet, storage below the king bed. Window, window, emergency exit window and then you have another slide right here and this is where I really like the bedroom one you get a ton of storage you're gonna get two of these just like that and then one just a hair smaller and then both left and right is gonna get its own little hanging closet as well and then right here you get a place where you can put one of those little combo uh, washer and dryers. So you got the appropriate plug-in dryer vent location and the um, hot and cold water as well. Or of course a hanging rack if you just want to use it uh, for you know some hanging clothes. TV backer, so a little bit tougher right there. So you can put up a bracket with the TV as well as the appropriate plug-ins, you know, and your cable hookup. But yeah, I think that about wraps it up here for the inside portion. Give you another little little mini quick tour here. Again, this is the 2023 Sabre 37 FLL. And if you guys have made it this far, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like and subscribe button for me, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. Pretty snazzy setup for sure. All right, so if you guys are interested in pricing on there, uh, the manufacturer does not allow me to put pricing on these videos due to manufacturer advertising pricing rules. So my dealership could actually get fined. But if you guys are in the market, text me. I'll get back to you here as fast as possible. Uh, but again, 2023 Sabre 37 FLL front living loft. You got the mirrored reflective windows. And again, specifications are down in the description. But you can see it doesn't really allow you to see in. And also it kind of has like a sunglass effect where it reflects that light away from you, preserving you know, not only your skin, but also the furniture for the camper. It won't get that kind of sun fade. The worst thing for campers is going to be sun and salt. And most places that people, uh, you know, camp are going to have, you know, at least the sun part for sure. And then down south, you know, Florida, Texas, things like that. Massive pass-through storage. It also shows off that aluminum construction that's welded at all points. And you'll notice you are not seeing, um, you know, any wood up here. So they put on that little black wrap, which I really enjoy as well. Cable hookup and outlets. You got a little leash latch for your furry friend. Underneath the RV here. Fully heated and enclosed. The step above stolid entry steps, which most campers are getting these days. Extra large grab handle and absolutely massive awning. I'm going to guess 18 to 20 feet. 
and you get a little outside kitchen. Now you don't have the ability to cook here uh, with like a grill or anything, but they did have the foresight to put the LP Quick Connect uh, right under here so you can hook up a grill. The sink is all plumbed in, so you don't have to dump it. It's right into the tanks, you're good to go. And then you got the Everchill outside refrigerator, which, um, you know, you could easily pack in a 48 pack of apple juice, you know, absolutely no problem. Dual axle, another little slide out here. Um, every single one of these slides is eligible for a slide topper. If you're not familiar with the slide topper, it's essentially a piece of awning that goes from here to here. And it, um, you know, stops any type of debris or anything like that from falling on it. It hits that awning. So when you roll back in the slide, it all peels itself off. It also helps with regulate temperature a little bit. All the Sabres are coming with the, or with, not with the Furion, the one control backup camera that you hold control with your phone, Jizo Pete's, and the Lippert uh, Stow and Go ladder there. It runs you about 285 bucks online, uh, but that way you can get on top of this fully walkable roof, check your seals, check your slides, you know, and you guys are good to go. Right here is going to be your 50 amp plug-in. This is going to be your sewer outlet connection. So, you know, kind of where you dump out all the, all the fun stuff. And there's going to be your other dump station right there. Nice, sturdy sidewall. So really nice construction for that, for the price segment. A lot of the campers, you have to make sure you can push on them. They get a little flimsy. Uh, you're going to see that. Uh, I'm going to have to walk around the camper because unfortunately your boy here is a roundy. And I think you got to be a super flat for that. But that's okay. A little bit about my day today. Didn't sell anything yet. Uh, it's getting towards the end of the day, but it is so beautiful out. It's 67 degrees. I mean, who can complain? I'm going to get out of here after the video. Probably pour myself a glass of this new bourbon that I got, a Cincinnati distillery. Pretty excited about that. And uh, maybe play some uh, whoop up on the old wife on some Othello. I think I've won like three games in a row and she's not happy with me. So right here is your solar charge controller. It lets you know that the solar panel is working. I've been doing this entire video just off the solar and it's only dropped 0.3 volts. So that is drawing in some for real serious power. Docking lights, auto level for your electric auto leveling. Propane and then right here is going to be the back end of your pass through storage. You also get your docking station with an outside shower with hot and cold water access, cable, satellite, black tank flush. It's going to be a sprinkler system there for your poop tank, antifreeze inlet when you want to go winterize, and then your uh, fresh water connection and your city water connection. But all right, guys, my name is Hunter. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hit that like and subscribe button for future RV content. This was the 2023 Sabre 37 FLL, the front living loft. Have a good night. See ya.